call her. I've got nothing else to say. I said it all yesterday. Well, you could start by apologising. Why? She wanted me to be honest, so I was. Maybe it's hard, but it's better than telling her what she wants to hear. Well, if it was me, I'd expect you to stand by me. I'll turn you back. She needs your support, Rob. All right, Liv, just leave it. Happy to. Maybe you can talk some sense into him. You know where I... I don't want him or his mum hanging around Vic, and they will if they ever find out she's having his baby, so why would she risk it? That's not your choice. Vic's too shaken up to be thinking straight. It's up to the rest of us to help us see it like it is. Well, you're not going to do that by walking away from her, though, are you? Look, in the end, Robert, it needs to be her decision, and we need to stand by her. I can't. I don't get it. When I was going through that nightmare of trying to prove what Gordon did to me, you were there for me every inch of the way, so why can't you do that for your own sister? Because you were trying to put the nightmare behind you. She seems determined to make it worse. Thanks, Joe. Stay away from me. Just stay me now. We need to talk. No, I've got nothing to say to you. Oh, you son, get off me. Not until you listen. There's things I have to say. Why would I even want to talk to you after your son forced himself on me? Why do you keep saying that my Lee wouldn't do such a thing? Maybe the truth is you wanted to keep this baby for yourself. It could have been any man. Leave me alone. No, I can't do that because that baby is my grandchild and I look after my own. There isn't going to be a baby because I told you I'm getting an abortion. Don't do that. If you keep it, there's a loving family wanting to help you. There's money if you need it. You're sick. I know you hate Lee, but that baby is innocent in all of this. Oi! What the hell are you doing back here, you? Why can't you just leave her alone? I'm not trying to hurt her. I, I, I just want to help with the baby. Were you wasting your time? Because there isn't going to be any baby. Listen, after what your son did, this is harassment. Now get out of here before I call the police. You all right? Why don't we go home? No, no, she's not making me hide away again. As long as she believes that I'm getting rid of the baby, then she isn't going to bother me, is she? I'm going to go back to work. Oh. I thought you were at work. I wanted to stay with Vic, make sure she was all right. Wendy's been hassling her again. You see, this is exactly what I was warning her about. You get rid of the baby and she won't come back. Is that all you can say? Really? You, you don't care that Wendy's back in the village? Of course I care. But Vic says she knows what she's doing. So that's it, is it? She's your little sister, Robert. I can't change how I feel, Aaron. Every time I'd look at that baby, I'd, I'd picture the scumbag that fathered it. I, I can't face that. So you're just gonna let Vic face it on her own, then? Well, it's what she wants. It's not that simple, though, is it, Robert? Victoria wants that baby and she needs a big brother there looking after her, not hiding away. She doesn't need me. She said as much last night. Of course she needs you! And you need her. But we both know what it's like not to have our little sisters around, don't we? Do you really want to spend the rest of your life like this, avoiding her? If she wants to keep the baby, I... I, I don't know what else to do. Just think about it, Robert. Please. <laughs> 